Hey everybody, I'm Oakley at Oakley Does Everything, and today we're going to turn this guitar kit into this guitar. But don't tell anybody, it's a surprise birthday present. So stay tuned. So the first thing we're going to do is design and cut out the shape of the headstock that we want. I've already designed the shape. So we're going to trace this pattern onto our headstock, use the jigsaw to cut it out, and then use the oscillating sander to sand up our edges. I'm finished with the headstock and I have the neck mounted to the body. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get the placement for our fretboard onto our neck. And what we're going to need to do with that is we're going to have to attach the bridge and then we're going to have to measure from cutoff point from the bridge to the cutoff point of the nut. Hey everybody, I'm just jumping in in this video real fast. I know that most of you that watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel and I would really appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It really helps the channel a lot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will also help share my channel to the algorithm of YouTube. So again, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I very much appreciate it. Back to the build. So to give everybody an idea of what I've done so far, I took my neck and fretboard over to the drill press and I drilled a hole in the first and second to last fret slot. That way I can take tacks and put them in and then that way when I go to glue it, it's less likely to shift around on me and it'll keep it in place while I can get the clamps on. The other thing I did is I flat sanded both of these surfaces, that way when I go to glue them, they're going to be as flat as possible and contacting each other as much as they can. And so now we have two almost perfectly smooth surfaces that will glue to each other. You want to make sure that these two surfaces are clean, absolutely clean of any dust, debris, anything like that. That way they have a stronger bond with the glue. At this point, we're going to go ahead and glue it together. Now that we have our neck and our fretboard gluing up, we're going to set that aside to dry. And now we're going to turn our attention to the body of the guitar. Now this kit's body came with a rounded over edge already for here because this came with a maple figured laminate top. And so all we need to do is make a cutout on the back for what's gonna be the belly cutout. I like to do a swooping S style cutout on the back, so I think that's what we're gonna go with on this one as well, making sure not to go too deep though, and making sure not to go too close to the horn. So I've drawn out the design I want for the cutout on the back side of the guitar, and so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna be taking this angle grinder with a wood carving attachment on it. And this is gonna allow me to hog off a lot of this material real quickly. Now when I'm gonna be doing this, I will be wearing a face shield and some noise canceling headphones. If you're doing anything like this with a power tool such as an angle grinder, make sure you wear PPE because it is important and it could save your life. Angle grinders are not to be messed with and they are very dangerous. So in the future, always be careful and always use as much caution as you possibly can. So we let our fretboard and neck dry up overnight so the glue can settle and it is on there real nice and good. And so now next thing for this is to flush up the sides, start working on fret dots and arching our fretboard.
I have done a boatload of hand sanding and here is a look of my progress so far. I have the fretboard arched over, that's looking nice. You saw me insert my fret dots and I've gone and hand sanded everything to 220 grit and that's gotten the neck nice and smooth, everything nice and even. My pocket hole cover is sanded down and then all of this figured maple, which looks amazing, sanded down as well as the back and the sides, trying to get as many of those fish eyes out as I can. And now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the process of staining and finishing. The fretboard and the back of the neck is just going to have a natural finish to it, as well as the pocket, I decided. So the pocket, neck, and fretboard are all going to be natural finish. And then the body, the entire body of the guitar is going to get the red stain on it. I think I decided that the back and the front of the headstock, I'm going to put the red stain on as well, and then we'll give the sides the natural finish as well. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward with that. So far I've taken care of a lot of the cosmetic parts of this guitar, but now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start gluing some holes into the body. That way we have holes for our electronics to be going through and passing through. And then after that we'll go ahead and start working on frets for the neck. So I have just finished up taping the guitar. It's all been stained, it's all been sanded, it's taped up now and covered. And now the last thing to do for the body and all the visual parts is to actually put the lacquer on it. I have a couple cans here that I'm going to use. Just picked this up at my hardware store and we're gonna go ahead and put a couple coats on and see how it turns out. Just to give everybody an idea of what I've done so far, after I applied the stain, I put on three coats of lacquer clear coat on each side, and then after I did that, I let it sit for about 24 hours, and then I came back and I sanded it with 400 grit sandpaper very lightly, just enough to get the bumps off of it. And now I'm gonna go back over it and put a very light coat over top of it just to smooth everything out, get it a nice clear finish to it, and then I will be ready for assembly.
Okay, so we have everything painted and clear coated and looking really good. Now we are gonna go ahead and start working on final assembly. And I am gonna start with the headstock. We'll put the tuning machines in and get going with that. All right, so we have the tooting machines on the headstock and the nut fitted in the nut slot. And the only thing left to do is do the setup for the nut, getting the correct height and cutting into the nut itself and placing the string trees on. But we need to wait till we have the body finished and assembled and put all together. So now we're gonna move on to the body, which has been cured, smoothed, and looking real good, I think, in my opinion. So we're gonna move on to that, put everything together and start working towards final assembly. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I wanna thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed to this channel, please hit that like button and share this with a friend. That goes a long way to help the channel out. I'm really excited to get this to its new owner. The person that asked me to make this is giving it to somebody as a surprise present, so I'm really looking forward to seeing their reaction to receiving this. Again, that's gonna wrap this video up. I'll see you on the next build. Have a great day, bye. You can rip it if you want. I think you use that for packing. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Nice, though.